Hi everyone, Inga here. Sorry I can't be with you in semi-person, <laughs> um, but I've gone on holiday again and we're having some trouble with our Wi-Fi so I thought I'd record a session and seeing that we're all on Zoom, it's the same uh, as if I was sitting in my, uh, in my office doing it live, so I hope that's okay. Today I wanted to talk to you about how to stay positive in difficult times. I think we can all agree that these times are very difficult um, and we're not yet at the end of it. In fact, it seems to be getting worse and worse. And you as a business owner are responsible for you know, the success of your business. Uh, you may have people that you need to motivate and engage if you still have them. <laughs> uh, so how you feel is incredibly important. And if you're feeling low or depressed, worried about your health, your family's health, friends, uh, or your business, then that can really impact how things go and either make it better or worse. It's important to remember that although we're all in the same storm, we are not all in the same boat. So you may be feeling okay, um, but someone else might not. Uh, I know that for some people, the pandemic has been fantastic for their business. If you're a supermarket or an HR person, an accountant, or say a signage manufacturer, you will have done very, very well. Um, if you're uh, anybody else, <laughs> if you're in hospitality or events, it has been absolutely disastrous. So it's important to remember that if maybe if you are already feeling positive and thinking, I don't need this talk, uh, you may be able to pass it to someone who, who is and be mindful of the fact that people may be feeling uh, very anxious indeed. So I'm going to help you give you seven things that you can do to uh, stay positive and get through these difficult times um, with your head held high and hopefully a successful business. So the first thing you need to do is stay positive. Now, that sounds weird seeing that this is the, to the topic of the talk but I wanted to give you a little bit of neurological background as to why it is important to think positively. You see, in our brain, we've got billions of neurons and they talk to each other um, through little bridges, so the connections between the neurons. Um, when you are positive, happy, feeling good, the chemicals that are released in the brain actually strengthen and widen those bridges so that more information can pass. So that means you're more creative and more likely to see solutions to problems when you're feeling good. You're also much more likely to take action, which is also uh, going to lead to more success. Whereas when you're negative or depressed or feeling unhappy, the chemicals that are released actually break down those bridges and you're even less likely to find any solutions to the many more problems that you seem to have. So that's why it's always important to remain positive, even when things are very, very hard. And the, and the most important thing to do there is to just believe that things will get better. I love um, Captain Tom, you know, he said, tomorrow will be a better day. Um, now it may not be tomorrow, but tomorrow can be a, a, a concept, you know, where you just, you have to believe that things get better. Basically you have a choice. You can choose that things are gonna, all gonna go down the pan, or you can choose that things get better. Which one of these do you think will be better for your, for your business? The first one. So think positive and believe that things will get better. Now, the second thing you can do to stay positive is don't watch too much news. The news is and always has been geared towards bad news because that simply sells better. But if you watch too much of it, it's really easy to get completely down. So why not limit yourself uh, to maybe once a day, because of course you do need to stay up to date with what's happening. You need to know what's happening in your industry. You need to happen, uh, know what's happening in with the coronavirus. What tier are we in? What rules do we need to follow? What are we allowed to do? What are we not allowed to do? So you do need to stay up to date, but you don't have to listen and watch all of the debates and listen to all the people talking about it, export A, B, C, everybody with uh, conflicting advice and just muddling the waters. Um, you can just switch that off <laughs> and believe me once you do that you will feel a whole lot better if you just focus on what you can do and that's by the way point number three focus on the things that you can control then you are much more likely to get out of this uh, in a good way than if you're all you do is just keep watching the news and reading the papers and talking to people about it it just doesn't help 
So in terms of this third, third thing, focus on what you can control, I really like the sentence, what can I do? So whenever you're feeling overwhelmed or like thinking, but you know, the, um, the, the um, elections in the US have an effect, coronavirus has an effect, Brexit has an effect, um, the weather has an effect, everything, you know, I'm impacted by everything. But those are things that you can't control. The only thing that you can control is your thoughts and your actions. So by focusing on them and saying, okay, what can I do? What can, not can't or should, I, not you, the government, your partner, your employees or whoever, do, not talk about, think about, you know, worry about, what can I do is a magical little sentence that if you just focus on that, you will get through it because there's plenty of things that you can do. You know, whether it's uh, designing new products, changing your delivery service, maybe changing altogether. You know, there's plenty of stuff you can do that will really help with your business and your life, <laughs> by the way. Um, and one of the best things you can do is help other people. So if you're really worried about loneliness in the UK, for example, well, why not go and find a lonely person in your neighborhood, someone that you can just visit and see if you can help. Helping others is a fantastic way to feel good. You get thanked, you feel really good, they feel really good. It's a true win-win situation. So that's definitely uh, something that you can do. You know, you can't help the whole world, but you can help your neighbor um, and that can be make a big difference to them and to you. Tip number four is practice self-care. Now, while we, when we were still allowed to fly, you know, we were always told um, you have to uh, put your own mask on first before helping others. And this is really important. So when you are feeling down, I said it earlier, when you are feeling down and low and you're the one in charge of the business and having to try and motivate people, it's going to be really hard. So you have to look after yourself. It's okay not to be okay. Talk to someone about it. You don't have to walk around the whole time saying, oh, everything is marvellous, you know, Inga told me I have to stay positive. <laughs> no, things are hard. But then you've got to say, okay, well, what, what can I do? Can I maybe ask some help from professionals or from friends and family, you know, people that care for you? And do simple things. Relaxation and exercise. It's a golden little um, double that you can do to make yourself feel better. Even if you haven't got a lot of time, you might take five minutes to uh, do a bit of meditation, have a bath, go out for a quick walk, um, do some exercise or relax and that will make you feel better. The next thing you have to do is be flexible. There's no point, we've seen this now, there's no point being having a very strict plan and feeling very rigid about it because it's all gonna change um, probably five times by the, by the end of the year. So be flexible, be as flexible as you can with everything. So with your workforce, with your products and services, with where you work, how you work. If previously you didn't do anything online, now is a good time to start doing that. If previously nobody worked from home, now is a good way of looking at that. Because that means you're also well positioned for the next crisis, which will come at some point. <laughs> So be as flexible as, as you can and adapt to the changes that are um, around you. Um, the sixth thing you can do to stay positive is to celebrate all your achievements. It's very easy to look at all the things you haven't done yet, especially this year, um, or to look at the things that you, you know, where you think, oh, when am I ever gonna get there? Whereas if you look at the things that you have done and that you have achieved, you will feel so much better. I always say, if you're really down, go and check your LinkedIn recommendations or your reviews or testimonials, whatever you have. People saying nice things about you can really lift your mood and remind you how good you are and how important it is that you do stay in business. Because where are these people going to go when you when you go out of business? So, um, Yes, celebrate all your achievements, um, have a little party, have some cake, <laughs> uh, do things that you can, obviously only in groups of six maximum, <laughs> um, will make you feel better. And then finally, number seven is ask for and accept help. If you're feeling overwhelmed, if one of the reasons why you're feeling down is because you just think, oh, I just don't know where to go, get some help. 
whether it's outsourcing or delegating, uh, if you have a lot of work on, uh, so that's definitely something where you can help. There's lots of ways of outsourcing. You can automate things, you can get virtual assistance, you can you, you hire agencies, or obviously you can hire staff. <laughs> um, there'll be plenty of people around. Um, or, um, uh, yeah, delegate if you already have someone. And um, telling someone, tell someone about how you feel and speak to the professionals. So if that's a counsellor for your, for your psychological help or for example, a business coach to help you get some fresh ideas, a new way to look at your business and move it forward. Um, so there you go, that's it. That was uh, seven things. So if we quickly recap them, uh, believe that things will get better, uh, don't watch too much news, focus on the things that you can control, practice self-care, uh, celebrate all your achievements and get and accept help. If you do all those things, you're much more likely to get through it all right. And just remember, being an optimist is not about walking with your head in the clouds and not seeing the holes in front of you. Being an optimist is walking with your head held up high, looking forward, seeing the holes and already finding a way around them before you reach them. Whereas a pessimist walks with his head down and only sees the holes when he falls into them. So please don't be a pessimist, be an optimist and get out of this crisis with a thriving business. If you want any help from me, I offer a free half hour coaching session. Um, you won't believe how many ideas I can cram into half an hour, so that can be really useful. It's completely without obligation. Or um, you can get my latest book, which is The Successful Mind. Um, this is something I'm a co-author of. There's 33 um, different authors, different chapters, all standalone, so really easy to read. Um, I think it's about £16 or something, but it's £10 if you get it from me, plus postage and packing. Uh, I've only got 10 copies, but the rest of them are available from Amazon. And um, that's it from me. I hope you find it useful. I really hope you will stay positive. And I also really look forward to seeing you again next month. Bye!